This age is very difficult. This era is filled with tensions, difficulties, hardships. And the only hope every one of us has is to have peace, especially inner peace. When you are just with yourself and trying to sleep, not to have all the time an engine going on. How just to feel great and to sleep, feel relaxed, and making sure that you are separated from all problems. Is this um, a hope which cannot be realized on the ground? Is this a dream which cannot be realized? Is this something which is very far from us? I think we do have the answer and we do have the solution. We do have an expert who is going to tell us how to reach this dream and how to make it a fact of life. We are very much delighted to have with us Sahar Gamal, yoga teacher and sound therapist. Thank you very much for being with us, Sahar. Thank you so much for inviting us. And um, as I said, maybe it's a miracle to feel this inner peace. Uh, when we are in the middle of all the current tensions we have. But before going into these details, out of curiosity, what's sound therapist? Okay, so yoga teacher is very well known, like uh, you find yoga everywhere, but a sound therapist is uh, like I have some instruments from uh, Tibet, from Nepal, and these instruments, like the singing bowls, like the gong, uh, it's used to uh, uh, be there in the ancient times like in ancient Egypt and uh, in the Tibet and uh, ancient India uh, so whomever is playing these instruments would would make the people who is attending to feel more at peace and calm and it will shut all the voices in the mind so f for you to be in the heart because heart is the way mm -hmm. in all the religions in all uh, in all cultures um, you, you, you always say, if you have a good heart, then you have a good life. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, like, it, it lets you feel more at heart, not to think much at the mind, which is, the mind is like yeah. the, the, the very... The engine, as I said. Uh, the the yeah. engine that is no, it's going on and on and on, and nobody can stop it, but if you feel at heart, this is the way, actually. When you feel at heart, when you purify your heart, when you connect to your heart, this is the way actually for the inner peace. Um, is this related by any means to the heart chakra? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. If you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, so th there, are, there are like uh, many energy centers around the body. Uh, so it's uh, mainly the main seven as per uh, the Indian culture, mm -hmm. it's seven chakras or uh, seven energy cent uh, centers. My main is here, by uh, the way. Uh, the, the, of course. Because <laughs> <laughs> it goes without saying. <laughs> Absolutely, because you can say, you can express, you can talk, uh, you can express yourself well, you can, can, can communicate well as well. The, so this is the throat chakra. Mm -hmm. But the heart chakra is the center because yep. if, if there is like seven, so you see like three, uh, like the crown, mm -hmm. uh, the third eye, which is the... Uh, the intuition yep. and then the throat chakra. Sixth sense. Uh, yeah, exactly. Mm. And then the throat chakra where you communicate or express yourself, the heart chakra, this is the core, this mm -hmm. is the center. Mm. If you are connected with your center, then you're capable to do anything. Mm. You are capable to connect to everything. And then you have the the solar plexus, yep. where th where is this is the, the lower the, abdomen chakra. Yeah, the yeah. lower abdomen, exactly around the navel mm -hmm. area, which is uh, the, the 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 center mm -hmm. of your power here. Mm -hmm. And then you have the sacral area, which is the one that is uh, uh, responsible about the creation. Yeah. And then you have the root, which is responsible about manifestation and connecting as well with the ancestors. Yeah. And the wisdom. Yep. the wisdom of our ancestors and um, as far as I understand or as I know our sub our collective consciousness uh, yes and uh, <laughs> to 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 add to this before going into more details then yoga and sound therapy are they connected together or they are very much separate uh, sciences or philosophies they are different yet together mm -hmm. like you can enjoy a yoga session Mm. together with sound therapy at the end yep. it could be combined mm. and both actually even the yoga uh, because you you know some people they think that yoga is just the exercises and all of that 
But the, the main aim of yoga actually to have flex flexibility uh, in your body mm -hmm. to be able to connect to a higher realm, which is God, the divine. So in all the religions, in all uh, civilizations, ancient, ancient civilizations, even in ancient Egypt, the main core was to connect with God. Because when you connect with God, you connect with yourself and you know yourself better and you know how to deal with people, with the... Uh, you know, with the universe. With the universe, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and sound therapy is the same. The, the main goal as well is, is for you, is of course, for you to relax, to empty the, uh, you know, the monkey mind that talks all the time and mm -hmm. all of that. But the main actually is to connect with yourself and with God. This, mm. that, that's the main. That's the main. That's the main. But yeah. how to reach that? This is your role to teach me how to reach my inner peace. True, or this is only a part. I mean, you are going only to give me signs, and whether I'm going to interpret these signs and to practice them on the ground in a right manner, it's okay. And if I can't, then I have a problem. True. It's uh, okay. I have the tools. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have the tool of yoga, I have the tool of the sound therapy. It depends on the other person. Yes. Uh, it's their job. It's their... Um, Mentality? Um, mission. I mean, if the, the, the base of everything is the intention. Mm -hmm. So if your intention or if anyone's intention is to reach the inner peace, they will take these tools. They're going to incorporate it and they're going to work on themselves because it's a journey. It's not only one thing, sure. one class. Uh, uh, it, it should be consistent. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, to reach a result, they say it's like uh, you make a habit of 40 days uh, to reach a goal. Mm -hmm. So it has to be done like on a daily basis. It can start like with little time, like it could be as five minutes a day and then you increase you increase and you increase and then you would feel more and mm -hmm. you will integrate more it could be uh, if I'm talking about yoga it could be some poses of yoga it could be breathing as well like the breathing is part of you it's very important well. uh, exactly unfortunately we don't know how to breathe yes yeah <laughs> absolutely. absolutely yeah and this is the life force yep we came here you know if you see the baby coming here uh, into this life, he comes with two things. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah. And sound. Yeah. So the, 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 the breath and the sound. So if people can connect with both, mm -hmm. the, the breath and the sound, then they can connect with the uh, life force. The life force. The, the, yeah. Let me put um, my questions in a more simple manner. When I can say that I do need to practice yoga or to uh, restore to a sound therapy to reach inner peace what are the symptoms I should be I mean suffering from to to make sure that oh no I should ask for help yeah it's, it's needed for everyone actually <laughs> whether uh, whether I mean to expand you are in at peace already you want to expand this as well because you want to you want to scale uh, you want to go forward, so uh, yes, but uh, if ev anything can trigger you, mm. like if you are in the parking spot, for example, and uh, somebody is taking your parking spot and you're going like poof, uh, angry and, mm. and shouting. If you are talking with your kids and then uh, poof, you, you, instead of talking to them nicely uh, and then you scream at them. So if like many things triggers you, and gets you out of your inner peace, then you can start to uh, take things, take step, uh, step seriously mm -hmm. towards uh, towards this. I mean, um, yeah, yeah. Amen uh, to, to that. To, to go and uh, make time for yourself because this is extremely important. That someone needs to take at least 10 minutes a day for self to uh, practice mindfulness. Putting my question in other words. When I can say that I only need uh, yo to practice yoga or any spiritual sport, if, if uh, as the, the public uh, are naming it, um, or I should ask for a psychotherapy, uh, or I should ask for a, a psychotherapy, how I can differentiate between this and that? Um, 
Okay. The psychotherapy is uh, very major. Okay. Like it can treat traumas. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I, I guess people can go through the yoga, mm -hmm. sound therapy, uh, maybe uh, breath work, uh, and see if things are more deeper mm. than this, then they can go through, I mean, um, I would encourage everyone, if you have something serious, no, ask specialists. Yeah. Um, Sahar, I don't know if uh, this is going to be that professional or no, I'm going to ask a little bit personal question, okay? Sure, yes. <laughs> no, personal question, I'm going to express myself because I know that maybe there are many people who are experiencing the same. For example, I feel better if I am sitting on a woody chair. Yes. Because wood for me is Absolutely. something related to earth. Yep. So it's closer to me. I feel part and parcel of it and this is, I, I, I belong to the same ingredient. Yes. Uh, but to have metals for me, it's not um, relaxing. I mean, it, um, it made me on edge. I don't know if this is something which is that normal or I should, um, I should think that, oh, I'm weird or there's something abnormal is taking place. How do you see the connection of us to the universe and to the nature? Yeah, so actually the wood, because the wood is part of the tree. Mm -hmm. And if you are connected more to nature, as well, by the way, the metal is coming from where? Mm -hmm. From Again, from the mountains. But the, the, uh, the energy of the metal is different than the energy of the wood. Mm -hmm. uh, so by actually uh, connecting more to nature, you would feel better because this is Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you are in nature like this, uh, on, on the Nile, on River Nile, uh, seeing the trees, if you are connecting to, to, the, to the nature that created by God, then you would feel much better. You are in harmony, actually, because as we have the earth outside, uh, we have our own earth as well. We all have our own land, we have our own tree, we have our own... Uh, it's everything is whatever is inside is outside so if you are connected with the woods you are actually connecting with the nature as well inside of you mm -hmm. so as in, as inside as outside and um, you are in harmony you are um, in harmony i cannot find a better uh, end for this uh, interview being connected to, na to nature is being connected to your inner self and reaching your inner peace. I enjoyed my time and I'm Thank going you. to be with a promise to see you again in more episodes. Thank you, Thank you so very much. much. Thank you for having me. We Thank were you. very much delighted and honored to have with us Sahar Gamel, yoga teacher and sound therapist. Right after the short break, I'm going to return back with more.